Sometimes the way that, that he jerks himself around, he, he reminds me of Elaine whenever she dances in Seinfeld, you know, <laughs> yeah, that, that episode is the, uh, the little kicks with the... I never thought about that. I love Seinfeld. Yeah. 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 And, and, and the way, you know, Paul's like... Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Bro, can, I, can you get, yeah. do one more so maybe I can put it in slow? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Big time shout out, man. But, uh, nice player. but uh, uh, his other band uh, is they they're featured on like New Noise magazine and you know different places and so like that. And I would like to try to get us onto there somehow, or you know, I mean, it might be overdue now, you know, or feature uh, them or past it, you know, feature them New Noise magazine. Um, What's wrong with you? <laughs> but you know, at the end of the day, though, we really kind of just do it for ourselves, though. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm not like I'm not stressing out over it. You know, we're just a little band from rural Pennsylvania, you know. <laughs> so it's all just for fun for yeah, me. Yeah, if we could yeah, get yeah, people yeah. to like local shows like sing along, that'd be funny yeah. for me. Which dude, I've actually seen that that, yeah. that last yeah. show. Mm -hmm. There there were a few people singing along, which is pretty cool. What blew my mind is when we played in Buffalo, New York and people were singing yeah. Yeah. songs. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like yeah. we've never even been there before. Yeah. yeah, what was that like playing in Buffalo compared to the usual PA shows? That it was pretty that show was really fun. Yeah. 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 So and I don't want any of this to sound like a knock to our shows in PA so far, but like up in Buffalo, we were like entering like a scene there. You know what I'm saying? Like it reminded me of, of the shows that I played back in high school mm -hmm. and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Where it was like 
the old school like feel to it. It was yeah. just like this little room and like the young kids that were in the bands or whatever or who put it on. It yeah. was just very DIY. It wasn't just mm-hmm. at a bar. You know what I mean? You know, you know, a bar night. You know, and maybe you know, fifty percent of the people there were just there just to, you know, get drinks and they happened to be at a show. It was everybody was there to see music. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know, and to be you know and support their local scene. So that was that was really cool. And um, you know, we definitely try to. We kind of um, extend into multiple genres, I guess, you know, and you know, we even have like, like a hardcore song or whatever, and like, you know, people got down with that, you know what I mean? Like, you know, yeah. because like, mm-hmm. you know, like it was a punk hardcore scene, you know, it wasn't just a random bar, you know, you know, pe- people understood it, you know, so it, it, it was pretty cool, yeah. What kind of music do you guys make? You say you extend to a couple genres, what do you sound like for um, people that don't know? Yeah, I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of straightforward, like. Punk, a little bit of, a little bit of pop punk, yeah. In some of the songs, I'd say. Yeah, like, I don't know. What's it, the technical term for uh, emo? Is that like post punk? I don't know. I don't. <laughs> There's so many emo kind of. Yeah, I, I think all the so many different things emo. They like, get twisted yeah. anyway. Yeah. So I think that you guys kind of fall into like that really cool like Midwest emo category. It reminds me of some of the bands yeah, so like, yeah, that so I like grew that. up listening to. You know what I mean? Um, and I love that sound. I, I, I'm a big fan. Like, like my vocals, well, both of our yeah. vocals, you know, I, I do m- most of the vocals, but Tommy also does some. And, like, they're definitely, like, hardcore vocals, you know. Um, we all have hardcore backgrounds, basically, yeah, yeah. so. Yeah. Uh, and, uh. I'm hardcore. Yeah. My background's hardcore. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I, I, I don't really sing too much. We have, a, like, our song, I Don't Want to Forget, is about the only one where it's mainly clean vocals. But so, do you like singing? Like when you actually do sing? Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's not that it's like not. You know, but it's, it's kind of like fun harsh. To, but it's, it's more not, fun to yell. It's more of a yell with a melody kind of thing. It just, you know, when it kind of suits us. I feel like. Would you call that a yellow? Yeah, a yellow. Yeah, it's a yellow. Yeah, yellow. It just kind of suits the sound a little bit, I guess. You know, it isn't. It isn't like like death chord or something like that. You know what I mean? But. Well, when my brother label us as post hardcore. Yeah, I can see that. Or yeah. even like. Yeah, that's like what I was thinking of. I said yeah. post punk, yeah. but post yeah. hardcore. That's what I meant, actually. Yeah. 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 Or like, uh, you know, one band that I know Tom and I both would like is Koyo uh, from, from New York. They're mm-hmm. from Long Island. Shout and they, out. Yeah, yeah, dude, Koyo is great. And uh, they label themselves as hardcore. And like, if they're hardcore, then I feel like we're hardcore. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? So, yeah. so oh, okay. Genre we are, I would I would put us in the punk hardcore, like realm. You, you know what Jack Black would say about this, yeah. right? <laughs> You're not, not hardcore, hardcore unless, unless you live hardcore. hardcore. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I just drew up here from church, so <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how, how hardcore that is, but <laughs> hey, that's all right. Dude. Listen, you know, if you go to church and you still get down with the hardcore, oh yeah, that's man. even better. That's all right. Oh man, dude. There ain't no shame in that game. Dude, the Erie Hardcore scene has had a, n- a number of uh, Russian Orthodox participants, so, yeah. yeah Shout out to the Russian Orthodox participants. Yeah, man. And yeah, the PA uh, music scene. But, uh, hell yeah. And, uh, but yeah, I, I would say punk hardcore is our realm, more or less. I don't, I don't really like the whole emo, sad boy thing. That really annoys me. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, there was a big trend there for years. Where everyone was like, "We're sad." It's like, all right, no, I'm not. I'm, no, you know what I mean. Uh, Maybe more like uh, happy, but you just sound sad. I don't know. I, I mean, like if you read my lyrics, I I I I think I write some pretty, some, yeah. you know. So like, I'm married. I've been married since 20 years old. I don't really have like girl problems I'm writing about. You know what I mean? You know, most of the stuff I write about is pretty. What know, do you write about then? Oh man. Yeah, I know, right? right? Yeah. Uh, what is there to write about? Uh, <laughs> Alright, so like song? so the two our two songs out, out in the world that the, the people hear, I guess this would give a little bit of context for that. Uh, I don't wanna forget is about just like uh, bearing shame in a relationship and the way that like, you know, kinda concealing yourself and not really opening yourself up to your 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 partner or you know or in my case my my wife um, it it allows a lot of wounds to fester you know you know beneath the surface that end up you know sprouting an actual problem so that's that's really about like internalized shame um, that's deep 
Yeah, oh yeah. It's about as deep as you get on this show. Yeah. It's and like a lot this season. People are really opening up. <laughs> You're a fucking therapist. And then, and then horse pills, uh, so the way that, because, you know, like the the big lyric there in, in the chorus is, you know, that's just the way the auto leaves fall. Um, that song was, uh, we just had my daughter and we ended up bringing COVID home from the hospital. And uh, so my daughter, you know, is a, is a newborn, has COVID. My wife. Don't feel bad. Hey, did you know that I'm uh, Tom Hanks took COVID all the way and gave it to everybody in Australia? <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, yeah, dude. Shout, shout out to Tom Hanks. Yeah, yeah. shout yeah. out. He gave COVID to all of Australia, yeah. so don't feel bad that he All right, well, possible. good, good. And, uh, you know, my wife was postpartum, and, you know, and had COVID, and I had COVID, my son had COVID, you know, and, but with, with my daughter being so young and everything, I, I had to like be separate from her, you know what I mean? So, you know, no more signals around her seat. So I had to quarantine from her. So anyways, I'm driving down, I'm driving down to Meadville and uh, with my son to kind of quarantine ourselves from them. Um, and I see all these leaves falling, you know, you know, it, it was in October and I'm just thinking like, like that's kind of what, what life feels like right now. Like these leaves are just falling and I don't really have any control over where they, end up, you know, you know, where they lay, and, uh, did you ever get a leaf in your mouth? No, I have not. <laughs> that, like, you know, it almost seems like it's going to taste good for, like, the first, like, second, and then just taste like the dirt, <laughs> and, you know, there's a lot of organic matter there, man, you yeah. know, like I said, it's almost exciting until you realize that you just had a leaf in your mouth. <laughs> All right, I'll try that out. Just try it out, okay. Yeah. yeah. Just the same look like, as like uh, you know catching snowflakes in your mouth. Just be outside. <laughs> That's just the way the auto leaves yeah, fall. Yeah, it's just the way they fall. Yeah. yeah, it needs sugar. Is this band more business or more pleasure? All right, all right, stop the end. All right, hey, sorry. Hey, look. All right, I got something important to say here. All right, so I'm sorry I'm interrupted, but look, this can't wait. I'm sick and tired of papers and all their stupid, poopy-cocky nonsense on Facebook and YouTube and, and all the Instagrams. I'm tired of them saying they can do a dance battle better than I can, all right? It's complete BS. And let me tell you, they think they're so cool with their song lyrics and their song titles. Have you ever heard of Paper Song? You guys ever heard of Paper Song? No, no you haven't, all right? And no. if you had, it's not that great to begin with. You can't dance to it, all right? That's my point. So, Papers, you want to put out a song? Put out a song like these guys, all right? Listen up. You, you think you've got a good song out there? These guys have music you can actually dance to, all right? You hear this? You will if I press play. Right there. That's a song you can dance to, all right? You can dance. Yeah, all right? Woo! Yeah! Thing. You get all that, ah! You can't do shit papers, alright? Put out a song like that, then maybe we'll have a dance battle, alright? Until then, I'm out of here. Evil Dead, Army of Darkness, yeah, those are yeah. some of my favorites. Shout uh, out! My, one of my favorites is actually Rosemary's Baby. I really like uh, The Great Pumpkin, Tra Charlie Brown. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the best of all time. Brown. That's a scary one. That one yeah. always gets me. I like that one. I really relate to Linus. <laughs> What's the best Halloween costume you guys ever wore? Um, me and my wife went as uh, Forrest and Jenny the one year. That was a pretty good one. That's pretty good. When yeah. I was like 12, I went as Freddy Krueger. Oh, I didn't have a mask, but I had like melted face skin like makeup on. Like a little and short Freddy so Krueger running yeah. around, that'd be so scary. Mm -hmm. I have two. When uh, early on in life, in my youth, uh, my friend and I went as the Blues Brothers, which is pretty cool. <laughs> everybody <laughs> thought everybody <laughs> thought we were like CIA agents, which was really <laughs> annoying. But like, like no, we're, you know, we we're Jake and Owen. And then uh, I played a Halloween show years ago. And I went as a green bastard, and that was, <laughs> oh, yeah. that was pretty cool. I remember that. <laughs> when I was, uh, was, was, when I was a kid, uh, my mom made us yeah. our own Ninja Turtle costumes. Really? And, like, 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 you know, like shells out of like styrofoam, and like, you know, it was pretty, pretty legit. 
but I was like five years old. That's man. another good <laughs> shout out. Shout out to your mom. Yeah. yeah. When I was a kid, I went to Spider Man for trick or treat, and I peed my pants. <laughs> went back home and changed into a Power Ranger costume, and then finished the day. Oh, the memories. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Spider Man's probably my favorite superhero. Uh, it's either him or the Hulk. I fucking love the Hulk. He's a badass. <laughs> Especially because like he can't help it, you know. He's just trying to live his life, and then you make him mad, and he just like, right? He's just like a person on steroids, basically. Just <laughs> he just turns out. into the Rock. <laughs> <laughs> the Hulk's actually Dwayne Johnson. If you guys had superpowers, what would they be? Oh boy. Hmm. That's a good one. I don't know. Flying would be cool. It would be. Double jump. Would you guys just hold on to him while he flies? Like yeah, a little tight on the waist or something like that? Like the ambiguous like, gay duo? <laughs> like TV Funhouse, you remember that? Anybody? <laughs> Man, I was actually just thinking about that cartoon not too long ago. That's one that you'll never see on TV. What was it, uh, Ace and Gary? Yeah, dude, <laughs> that was so funny. Was that on? What was that on? Was that Saturday on? Night Live. Saturday Night Live, yeah, I thought so. They don't really have any cartoons or anything on that anymore either. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude, that's said that was going downhill though, man. Mm-hmm. It has. I mean, you know, they've, they've at least it's not as bad as it was like in like the the you know 2008 2010 era. That it was even worse than it is now. I think they kind of had a small upswing, but it's just so. like it's just all I don't know. Like it was just there for four years. It was just Trump jokes. Everything, you know what I mean? It's like you know. Oh yeah, they're they're really you know horrible. I mean? You know, mm-hmm. it, it's just like, dude, like, let's just like not even talk about this at all. Like, you know, you know, let's like have something a little more original. You know what I mean? Just well, we've always done stuff about presidents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I didn't, I haven't watched this now since probably two thousand five or something. Yeah. So I don't know, like, how often they do. Yeah. I'm telling you, yeah. After that, yeah. it's it's gotten really fucking bad. It's just know? like I don't know. Every yeah, I don't know. It's like now it's like for a specific type of person. I feel like you know what I mean. But also just the, the, the comedy has just gone downhill a lot, too, I think. Mm-hmm. Very sterile. You know, yeah. Like, like mainstream. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There it's was, uh, very predictable. You know what Tim Robinson is? Yeah, yeah. You know that his new show, uh, I Think You Should Leave on Netflix? That's really know, funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He yeah. used to be a writer on SNL. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but like most of his jokes got rejected, so he made his own show. Did you guys <laughs> ever hear of SCTV? No, mm-hmm. no. It, it was the Canadian version of SNL back in like the seventies and early eighties. Like that's like where like John Candy got the start. Um, oh, really? Yeah, uh, uh, Catherine O'Hara. Yeah, um, Eugene Levy. Really, I'm really hook that up. I'm oh man, and that. it's just like off the wall stuff. It's just, oh, that, you know what I mean. It's like it's awesome. It, it is hilarious. Dude, I I grew up watching that. Man, it is just it's so funny. It just it's so off the wall. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's. So I think I have seen clips from that. that yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, my I've gosh. Never heard that yeah. Before. Oh yeah. Yeah. SCTV. It's oh man. It's yeah. It's hilarious. It's Canadian. Yeah. Yeah. It's Canadian. A lot of good stuff out of Canada. Yeah. Not Canada. 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 Yeah. Canada. 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 They have some good beer. <laughs> they do have good beer. That's all I drank. I was just well, watching that, that show, uh, Shorzy, because they came out with a new season, and that show is fucking hilarious. It's mm-hmm. the people that are from Letterkenny, which I really oh, didn't. Yeah. Did I like Letter Kenny. Mm-hmm. I never even really got into Letter Kenny, but then they came out with the show about the hockey players. Yeah, um, yeah, and, yeah. Shorzy was like the, the the character always like in the shower. You know, you never actually saw him or something like that. You know what I mean? You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Like a spinoff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's funny. It, it Letter Kenny took me like until the last season to really understand the humor. Now I need to like watch it all again. Now that I understand it. Cause, you know, because, the game, yeah, 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 because it'll probably make hilarious. more sense. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's it's absolutely hilarious. That's mm-hmm. yeah. I whenever I greet my wife, I always go, "How are you now?" But yeah, there's some. How long do you think it is till she leaves you? <laughs> <laughs> probably not long. Not long. I'm just joking. <laughs> what's the best Halloween candy to get? Oh gosh, I mean, like, what's the difference between Halloween candy and regular candy? I feel like they always just, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Is well, there... it's Halloween. It's not any other regular old time. Okay. I think the Reese's Pumpkins are pretty good. They are. Yeah. I know. Yeah, they're they're really yeah, there are. Mm-hmm. But you know, well, the you know best... they make the big cups now, which have. Yeah. Well, you know, the, the best Reese's is around uh, Easter time. They make those eggs. And I'm not just talking the regular Reese's patty with the egg and the egg shape. It's an actual egg. Have you ever seen those before? 
I really hope yeah, yeah, my yeah. brother watches They're this amazing. just because Isaac just called it Reese's. <laughs> And my brother has this big thing where it's actually Reese's, Reese's. not Reese's. Dude, and I just uh, I, I think I just saw him ragging on you on Facebook. He was like, he, he's done it for years. Yeah. Like when we used to live together, he like put this thing up on the refrigerator that said Reese's, not Reese's. Like I mean, it's been a, it's been a thing for a long time. He's yeah. gonna pass it down generation to the next mm-hmm. generation of his family. Yep. <laughs> Oh, shit. What's the best flavor of room noodle soup? Beef. I like beef and chicken. Chicken's good, but I prefer beef. You're vehemently against any kind of room noodles. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my wife will make it sometimes. I'm like, you get, no, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I can't. I actually recently started slightly, like, making my ramen a little better. Like, rather than just eating it out of, you know, but like I'll add spice up your something. Spruce it up. I mean, yeah. it make it make it a little spicier. Like I always do beef, sometimes chicken, but mostly beef. I'll throw in a little. Uh, I'll throw up some like, little Smokies. Um, it's good. It's good. Whatever kind I of meat. That's just uh, little Smokies are fucking good, yeah, I'm bro. Against them. Yeah, smoke like some barbecue sauce. You ever have with the barbecue sauce mm-hmm. in the slow cooker? Oh yeah. Oh mm-hmm. my god, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll throw like oh, some things in. Hungry, dude. I'm always hungry. Hey, there's this like Japanese barbecue <laughs> sauce that I found. Good, I'll throw that in the broth too, and then some sriracha, and green onion. It's real good. You can't get wrong with chicken ramen and some peanut butter sandwiches, man. It's the you know. It's the most chiller park boys thing. It's the lunch of lunch of champions. <laughs> Speaking of Canada, I don't got any bucks. <laughs> Does Taylor Swift make too much money? Okay, okay, listen. <laughs> no, dude. So my wife is a big Swifty, and last week I took her to go see the uh, her like Air Tours movie, whatever. She's pretty good. I'm I'm kind of on that. Does she trigger. make too much money? I don't know. I mean, I, I absolutely. Mean, <laughs> I I mean, dude, like you know, I mean, it's not like she's like uh, has any big sponsorships or anything. You know, you know, she's very talented, and she puts out all of her own music. You know, she, she does. Dude, dude, she. She she's literally re-recording her entire catalog of music. So I mean, she owns all the rights to it. You know, I did hear. But she's re-recording everything. Yeah. That's pretty smart. That is. That's yeah. like really cool and a lot of work. That is smart. Shout yeah. out. And, 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 and oh yeah, it yeah. is. And you know, and, and like uh, with this movie, you know, she put out like, she totally cut out the middleman with like you know like, you know didn't go through like uh, like Warner Brothers you know any any of these big distributors because they wanted because they didn't want. Uh, her movie to conflict with like other movies that like they had you know you know coming out you know so so they were gonna put off this movie for like another like uh, well well they were gonna release it in 2024 the summer of 2024 and she's like well I want it out now so she totally cut out the middleman and just like set 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 this stuff to the theaters herself you know what I mean very punk very DIY yeah. you know what I mean like so I've actually got a lot of respect for Taylor Swift over the last you know year or two um, so does she make too much money I don't know I think she's kind of she's you know, doing her own thing now, you know what I mean? And I respect the hell out of her, so, I don't know. Shout out to you, Isaac, who knows more about Taylor Swift than I do. Oh, well, you should have my wife on here. (laughs) (laughs) It'll it'll only be about Taylor Swift. (laughs) Next week, Isaac from Common Light's wife on 13 Nights. (laughs) The Taylor Swift version. An all new Taylor Taylor Swift special. Taylor's version. Yeah. Swifties will get that joke. (laughs) Who were some of your guys' favorite bands? Let's go down the line. There's so many. Right. Yeah. We're just going to go this way? Name yeah, three. Sure. Sorry. Oh, if I pick pick two or three each. All right, if I got to pick three top favorite bands of all time, I've got to go with Nirvana because that was like a huge influence on me. Me as well. I was getting into punk. Um, it's his time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> probably uh, Title Fight. Very big influence on the kind of music I like to write a lot, especially for my other band, Archway. Um, Shout out, Archway! And uh, I'm going to say Half Heart, because it was either between them or Comeback Kid, and I'm wearing a Half Heart shirt. But I got a Comeback Kid tattoo, so mm-hmm. I guess maybe call that a tie. Yeah. Okay, all right, tie for sure. <laughs> all right. Um, this is a hard question, man. Um, like, are we going favorite like, currently, or maybe just most most influential over the like the course of my whatever life? Whatever you want, you can do what you're listening to now. If you okay, want. what I'm listening to right now. All right, I really like uh, Koyo. 
already mentioned them though, so that doesn't count because because I already mentioned. Oh uh, yeah, that one doesn't count. Uh, there's Roman a band. Trash. It's <laughs> a band, Hot Mulligan. I really like uh, Hot Mulligan a lot. Um, their album, uh, what the hell is the name of their album? The one I like a lot. Whatever. It was their, it was their debut album. Was is really really good. Has it got like a rainy window? Is that one no, there? that's that's their. Because that... I have that one. That's the only thing I know by them. Gosh, scratch it. Just <laughs> Hot Mulligan. I like Hot Mulligan. Um. I really like uh, John Moreland a lot. He's like kind of country esque, you know, you know, country style. But uh, I I always listen to John Moreland a lot. I really enjoy him. Um, and uh, let's see, I should throw a hardcore band in there or something like that. Um, we like this band called Inclination. Straight edge. Yeah, I'm not straight edge, but uh, but uh, but Inclination is really good. And you um, have to say that, don't you? What? Like if you're not straight edge and you shout out a straight edge band, you have to say that you're not straight yeah, edge. Yeah, well, rules. yeah, I guess, yeah, you know, out of respect for <laughs> I broke edge a long no, time ago. I just like their music, you know what I mean? And, uh, the inclination's really good. They're from, like, uh, it's, it's some of the guys from Knock Loose, and, um, but it's a little bit more just kind of straight up hardcore music and stuff, but they're, they're really good. So, they, you know, those are three artists that, that, that I'm willing to. Um, I'm gonna say not three. Nirvana, not Nirvana. Don't say Nirvana. No, Tommy already covered that one. Right, but yeah, yeah Nirvana. Don't, don't steal that one from him again. Yeah, I ain't gonna steal Tommy's uh, fire there. But um, I'm just gonna go with hardcore bands. My three favorite hardcore bands are probably Stay Gold is number one, uh, The Hope Conspiracy, and Modern Life Is War. But there's so many other bands that influence like you know my drumming style and you know just being in the hardcore scene in general and i don't know it's too hard to just yeah it agree. is it is like <laughs> yeah like i think Under pressure, I th- you guys are on the spot <laughs> yeah and, well and i think that that people kind of get a little bit of a bad rap whenever whenever you're whenever you're into hardcore music a lot of times people think that that's like all you listen to and that's the way it was you know and for me growing up, whatever, it's like, you know, it, it, even my brother will still be like, you know, I don't know if you like this. It's like, dude, like I listen to such a wide variety of stuff, you know, as far as influences go. If you're, you're a man of culture. I can definitely tell based on those shoes. Oh, well, thank you. You know, if you were to go through, through my record collection or whatever, or Spotify, it's like, none of it is cohesive. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's it's very hard to pinpoint, like, what yeah, exactly. I've been a lot of, like, doo I like, so I like kind of very straight, very far. Yeah, I really like like uh, like like a bossa nova jazz a lot. I really really enjoy that. Um, I really uh, also really like, like uh, ambient music. Sometimes that kind of comes comes in like uh, bleeds into common light a little bit, like more of the ambient kind of instrumental stuff. Um, like I'll push the the guitar part and I'll push and stuff like that. And um, but yeah, but, but like I'll, I'm also really really into like '90s gangster rap. For sure. Yeah. 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 I, I, I love hip hop music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, cut off for me usually is like 2005. <laughs> you know. But anyway. So the yeah. Chronic 2000. But yeah. yeah. Oh first, yeah. The Dude, first yeah. few year, years of the uh, 2000s were still like the 90s. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. There's I mean, that happens like every decade, but still. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's, you know, there's just so many. There's so many influences, and that's that's the it's kind of the cool thing about it, you know. So. Do you guys think Britney Spears wrote about you guys in uh, her new memoir? Do you think she wrote about What's the memoir? Britney Spears memoir. memoir. I highly doubt it. Yeah, no, no I don't think so. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. I bet the words common and light probably appear somewhere in there. Yeah, we could just push them together. Those yeah. words are probably in there, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, there's a subtle nod there. Going, going, back, going, going back to hip hop, that's where I got the name common light from. Because oh, yeah, just fuck Britney, Britney Spears. Yeah, right. sorry, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, wasn't she like running around with knives or something recently? And people, I saw like, memes about it. Yeah, I've, I've seen, seen the memes, but I have no idea what it's about, really. Brittany doesn't get any respect on this show. Yeah. <laughs> no what were you saying about Common? Like, oh, well, just uh, so the rapper Common, you know, from Chicago, has the song called Delight, and uh. That song's really good. You know, it's, it's like probably one of his more popular ones. But but it was so like it, it popped up on my phone 
it was like, you know, common delight. And I was like, common light, that kind of sounds cool. And then, you know what I mean? And then it kind of like made me think about some theological things that I won't get into here on this podcast. <laughs> and I was like, that, 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 that would be a damn good band name. So anyways. So your band name actually came from a hip hop song? Yeah. Wow, that's so sad. I know that until right now. At least that's inspired. I don't think anybody knows that. You know, I wondered that because whenever, like, I was looking for some of our stuff on YouTube. Yeah, Common Delight always comes. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's the best band name story I've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out Common. Yeah. Dude, he's good. He and does. he's a pretty good actor. I don't know if you've ever seen him, like, in Barbershop. Smoking Aces. Woo! Smoking Aces. Yeah, dude. That's what I think of right off the bat. He's a good actor. They had a good cast in that movie, yeah. though. All the way through. Yeah. Alicia Keys, shout out. <laughs> <laughs> I thought our name kind of had something to do because your parents' band name. Had oh, even like, yeah, no, no, it actually isn't, it, it, it isn't, it isn't with that at all, but, yeah. Are your parents still in a band right now? So my parents have like a uh, shout out Eden Light. Shout out. <laughs> they they have a uh, they do. Um, it's just them. They do like like uh, kind of acoustic Americana folk kind of style stuff. Um, and uh, it's kind of too faceted, you know. Um, they'll do just regular shows, but they also have a prison ministry. Um, so so they'll they'll go into prisons and, and play there a lot. They actually just got back from a like they they. T- they did a tour of like uh, eight prisons in Florida um, last month. Um, Shout out to your parents. Yeah, yeah, man. Parents are in a band. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> if you guys have you know any any uh, any family that's incarcerated in the you know New York, PA, Ohio area, they probably see my parents <laughs> <laughs> because they've been all over. Whether they wanted to or not. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, but no, but yeah, I I thought about that. I was like, there's Eden Light and there's Common Light, so. Mm-hmm. But, Big I shout maybe, out. You know, I thought maybe that had something to do with We're going to go on tour together, actually. Yeah. And put We're going to play prisons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I've actually thought about wanting to do that. It'd be pretty cool. It'd be really, really cool. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like go Johnny Cash style. You know? <laughs> that would be sick. That, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I'll be there with my, with my camera. See you guys there. We would hope so. Just yeah. got to get your clearances, dog, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not one in any state. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <Not> <laughs> He does yeah. offer us weed though, so you know. <laughs> He's like, damn it, busted. <laughs> Do you guys have any shows coming up? Where can people see you live? At the moment, we don't know. Zilch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. We just played like more shows this in the past four months than we've played in the past six years <laughs> yeah. do you guys have more music coming out have you been writing new tunes yeah i have some on it. yeah i have some demos that that were made um and uh yeah we kind of need to i think i think we're going to kind of take the winter or, or however long it, you know it takes to kind of build up our set a little bit more and record some stuff yeah maybe. yeah i think it'd be cool to record something we have a couple more that are recorded that we haven't released yeah yeah so more from what you read on that. Yeah, there's there's things that, that are in the works regardless. New mm-hmm. music on the horizon for yeah, Common Light at some point. Yeah. I don't want to say soon because that because then that puts some sort of a deadline <laughs> for expectations. Big things coming soon. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. 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 Gotcha. Yeah. I'm gotcha. Just keep an eye out. Yeah. It's coming. But yeah, for the for the meantime, just uh, listen to us on Spotify or wherever Apple Music or something. But, we got Bandcamp to have the EP on. Yeah. And then our two, so there's six songs on our band camp. Yeah. And only two. Yeah, so like we kind of started this project. Um, I I recorded some songs just like by myself um, in 2017 and, and, and put out an EP uh, called When We Were Fire. And we still played some songs from that from that EP. Um, and Compare just, that to the new stuff you've been writing. Yeah, that that's a good, that's a good, prompt um it's definitely a little different i think i think that stuff like if, if i was to compare it to any kind of like a a, a band out there or influences probably, probably the menzingers were a big influence on me then and even like a hot water music and stuff like that um stuff now doesn't really i, I know this sounds weird but i don't really know if if the stuff that that, that we're writing now really has much of influence at all on anything it's it, it, it's a little less like 
I'm trying to sound like this. You know what I mean? You know, it, it's more just kind of whatever comes out, you know. And we've gotten a lot more free with, with, with uh, you know, like our intro was like kind of, I don't know, it was called Easy Core on their last show. You know, Easy Core. Yeah. I didn't hear that one. Yeah. Dude, I haven't heard that, heard that term since like 2010. And, I, don't uh, ever, I don't think I've ever, ever heard that term. Oh, yeah, like four years strong is easy core they would call it. Set your know, goals. Yeah, it sets your goals. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, but then, yeah, you also have like like a like a thrash hardcore song in our set. You know, yeah. you know, but so but, but like horse pills and I don't want to forget those songs just just kind of came out um, out, out of the blue really, um, and yeah, it, it, it's kind of hard for me to really describe like what they are you know or what influences. Um, I don't want to forget, actually, uh, I first wrote, started doing that with um, that little riff there in the in the pre-chorus, and actually it reminded me a lot of like Jawbreaker. I really like Jawbreaker a lot. I probably should have put them on my list because they're a really big influence on me. Um, so, but besides that though, it's like, yeah, our, our first EP, I definitely was kind of trying to go for a specific sound, more or less, and now it's a lot more free and open, you know, so, um, like I just demoed a song recently you know that, that we're gonna be working on it's like it's pretty heavy <laughs> you know for the scope of our you know our other i can't stuff, wait and, to hear it you know I so can't like, wait. it's it's pretty different you know so yeah it's yeah i would say now we're just a lot yeah it's just a lot more free whereas our first ep was definitely kind of more of a particular particular sound i'm paul goon they are calm and light that was 13 minutes Never seems to go by.